consistency of his outside shooting from that 18-foot range. It's just made him virtually unstoppable. Nine out of ten for Jordan in the second quarter. Price bounces to Sanders. Finally misses one. One-handed rebound. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? <laughs> like a Nerf ball. It's two-shot foul. Jordan will go to the line. Elo with foul with the foul. And I tell you, I think Michael's playing a little bit to this crowd. He knows he has to get the crowd in the ball game. He's doing some things to turn him on. Now watch him again on the miss by Sanders. Goes up, snares it with the right hand. Just holds it up there and comes on down. <laughs> yeah, that's a Nerf ball rebound, no doubt about it. And the question, how badly has the absence of Ron Harper hurt this Cleveland I don't team? think it's hurt them all that much in this game. Craig Elo's had an outstanding ball game. So I don't think that's been the factor. The big factor, Brad Doherty, has really not been a factor. Jordan with 47. 49. And a chance for 50. That was a spectacular individual move on the part of Jordan with the great hang time. Double clutching the ball, drawing the contact, and still laying it in and making it look so easy. Let's watch again. This is just an amazing athletic move on the part of Michael Jordan. He gets by the first man. He'll go in and he'll get picked up by Nance. He hangs, brings it down. Now he gets hit. Now he throws it up with the great body control. What a fantastic player. Bob Neal, Rick Barry with you. And look at this. Unbelievable is the word. Well, Michael Jordan doing what has excited all of the fans in the NBA all season long. Goes up against Larry Nance. There's the block, you think. Now he pulls it down. Now he gets hit. And now he just gently lays it in the basket. Makes it look so easy. Nats, one of the great shot blockers in the NBA. He's sixth this year in NBA in block shots. One of the great leapers in the NBA. And Jordan simply stayed up longer than Nats did. And